Hi, Jim Moyna here with Moyna Bass Fishes. This video is about the first day of practice at the 2023 MLF Invitational on Clarks Hill Lake. We had unseasonably warm weather. We had a lot of clouds today. And the fish were, I know the fish were biting. I know there were big fish to be caught. Uh, my strategy today was to fish a lot of deep water, do a lot of uh, live scope fishing, and I caught a lot of spotted bass doing that, but I, didn't, I, I caught one largemouth today, and seriously, I think largemouths are what a guy needs to do well in this tournament, because the spotted bass top out, I mean... If you get a three pound spotted bass, I think you got a pretty good one. I did catch, you know, quite a few in the two to two and a half pound range. That would get you at 11 to 12 and a half pound, 11 to 12 and a half pound limit. But that ain't really, that's not doing, that's not that great out here. A guy needs probably, I mean, a 12 and a half pound limit each day, you know, that'll put you right on the bubble for a check probably. Uh, We'll see if that would actually get one or not. That's, you know, yet to be determined. So, I really got to figure out how to get these largemouths. Because the largemouths were not, I mean, I just caught one largemouth. That's it. Caught that one on a spinnerbait. Um, but I, I caught a lot of fish. And uh, I did do some shallow fishing today. And there was fish shallow. And there was fish deep. So it's hard to say what to do right now other than I think I got to change, maybe, I don't know, change sex of the lake. You know what was really weird? Um, there was, well, I'm not going to say because I'm just not going to say right now. But anyhow, it was raining at the end of the day. It's raining now. It's been kind of one of them... Gosh, it's late too now. It's after 10 o'clock and I'm just finally getting settled in because I had to, uh, the way these campground reservations worked, um, I don't know, it's a long story. <laughs> it's just, let's just put it this way. I had, last night I was on a different campsite and, uh, and tonight I had to move or, and, and I knew that was going to happen. It's not like, I was on somebody's site when they wanted it. You know, I wasn't on the wrong site. It's just when I booked into this place, everything was booked. The only way I could make the reservation work is if I booked one night at that other campsite and then the rest of the trip will be on this campsite. But it's kind of a pain in the ass. You come, you fish all day, you're tired, you come in and it's dark outside and it was raining. And then I had to, um, you know, set up my campground set up my camper on this uh on this site here so i did i never took it off the truck until today until tonight you know at the other campsite i just left it on the truck you know i launched the boat today with the camper on the truck and parked parked everything with the camper on it right at the uh parking lot so anyways uh i'm a little a little frazzled a little tired a little frazzled um Tomorrow, kind of looking forward to tomorrow. I'm going to change things up and see if I can't uh, get some large mouths going. So, anyhow, that's all I got for tonight. Over.